What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to show you guys how to put new grips on your dirt bike really easily. And I know that this is a really easy task. Um, I'm sure everyone who owns a dirt bike knows how to put new grips on it. But I've actually seen videos on YouTube and they do get a lot of views. So uh, I figured I'd throw a video up on the channel since I just got brand new grips. Why not just make a video on how to uh, put new grips on or at least show you guys how I do it. Um, I, do, I have a pretty easy way to do it and so I'm going to go ahead and just make a, a quick video on how I do so so you guys can see and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. So the grips that I'm going to be putting on the bike today are these Renthal Dual Series grips. Uh, they are the half waffle, half diamond grips and I've always really liked these. Um, I've just always ran them on my bike. I currently have the Pro Taper pillow tops on the bike as you can see right now and I just have these on there because it's what I had in my trailer and I needed some new grips and I didn't have a, a fresh pair of the grips that I normally get. If the camera would focus that'd be cool. There we go. Something like that. Uh, yeah, so I went ahead and picked these up at Cycle Gear today for like 17 bucks, 18 bucks, and uh, it's just what I've always used. So I figured I'd make a quick video on how to throw them on there, show you guys how I do it, and uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step to installing new grips is uh, something you could probably have guessed. We've got to take off the old grips. So what you can do here is you can either cut them off with a knife, which is what I'm going to do, or you can um, try and spray some type of lubricant inside of the hole in order to uh, be able to pull it off or you could use an air compressor. That's actually how I um, put the new ones on, usually use an air compressor. But uh, that's only if you're going to try to save the grips. I'm not going to try and save these because I know that I'm not going to use them again. I was just using these temporarily until I got some new ones which I did today obviously. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these off uh, with a knife because that just makes it really easy um, instead of trying to screw with lubricant and everything to try and get them off. Um, if you're not going to save them, just take a knife to it and cut them and they'll be off uh, within just a matter of seconds, just like that. That one's gone. And I'm going to hop around over here to the other side, cut this one off. And it definitely helps if you use a sharp knife. Uh, this knife's pretty good, so it takes them off pretty easily here. Just give it a couple cuts. These are pretty thick grips though, so it might take you a second. but. Uh, just like that, this one's off too. And uh, now we're ready to go ahead and clean the surface on both sides, uh, both sides of the handlebars and get ready to throw the new grips on. So now we're gonna go ahead and clean up both sides of the handlebars, get them ready for the new grips. And what I like to do is just take a rag and some simple green, spray it on the rag, spray it on the bar um, and the other side and just get all that sticky residue off of the bars that may have been left on there from the glue. Um, I actually don't think that I used glue on the last two grips on those pro tapers because I have a little trick with the air compressor that helps you get them on there really easily and uh, they didn't honestly need glue but I, would, I do plan to put on some glue with the Renthals. I may have used a little bit, I'm not entirely sure but just as long as you clean them up and uh, get whatever residue or crap may be on there may have gotten inside there, I just like to give them a good clean so the new grips go on there really well. All right, so you're going to want to pick up some grip glue with your new grips when you go to buy them. There we go. So it's the uh, Renthal Quick Bond Grip Glue. It costs like $2 more than the uh, regular stuff just because it's supposed to adhere in like three minutes and be completely ready to go. And I believe it is just normal super glue. Honestly, I think they just put their label on it and call it Renthal Grip Glue. I think it's just super glue, but I just like to use it just because it's the same brand as the grips. And that's, of course, what they recommend. So, um, first thing you're going to do is basically you want to figure out which grip goes on which side. Obviously, one's a little bit bigger for the throttle, so this guy is going to go over here on the throttle. And this one's going to be over here on the left side. So, I just have my air compressor hooked up right here just in case I need it to help pull it on. I probably won't need it, but sometimes I do if it gives me troubles. I'll just slip the air compressor inside the hole while I'm trying to pull it on and then it'll pull right on there for me. But that's honestly better when you're trying to take them off if you're trying to save the grips. So with that being said, I'm going to put on some gloves while I'm doing this just because if that stuff gets on your hands it's basically super glue and that does not feel too good on your fingers. So I'm just going to grab some gloves really quick. Alright, so now I've just got some really cheap gloves on just because I don't want that stuff to get on my fingers in case it does because uh, that's really annoying to try and get off so I just don't want to have to worry about that. But let's go ahead and throw these on. So I'm just going to undo the cap on the grip glue. Throw a little bit on the handlebars. Um, I don't want to put 
too much on there because you really don't need a whole ton, especially if this is super glue. Um, I'm just going to try and get it kind of all around the place over here so they stick really good because I do not like loose grips. That's not fun when you're riding and you got loose grips. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to pour a little bit on the inside while rotating the grip around to get it on all sides. And then when you pull it on to the bike, you want to just kind of slip it on and pull up the front edges to get the glue all in there. And so this slides on really easily. I won't need the air compressor at all. And then basically I'm just going to rotate the grip around like so and this spreads the glue all over the place. So it, it's not just in one spot. So now it is getting it all over the grip and all over the bar. And then basically you just want to position the grip where you want it. So I'm super like OCD about this and um, I like it when the Renthal grip is perfectly straight up and down. Most people don't give a shit and they just put it on and call it good. But uh, I like to see that Renthal uh, logo on the side uh, perfectly straight up and down. And so that kind of satisfies my OCD and uh, doesn't have me worrying about that. So that side looks good to go. I'm going to leave that there and that's going to dry and um, that should be good to go. So now we'll hop over to the other side. This side can sometimes be a little bit more tricky, but it's basically the same exact process. I'm going to throw some glue onto the handlebar or the throttle tube, kind of all around. Just do a couple lines, just like so. Stuff is kind of hard to get out of here. And then that'll easily spread around once I put the grip on. I'm going to drop a little bit on the inside and do a circular motion to kind of wrap it around that edge, just like a ring. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull it on once again. But now it's just doing it to the other side. It can be a little bit challenging to get it on over that throttle tube. So I might need to come around to the other side and really try and pull it on there as best as I can. There we go. Just getting it up over that little lip. I'm going to pull this guy all the way on there. I actually got a little bit of glue on the grip itself and that's not what you want to do, but it'll be all right. So I just got to get pushed on there all the way. Take off these gloves and try and just kind of rotate that grip around to spread the glue evenly. Just like so. And then I'm going to try and clean up that grip really quick before that glue hardens on to the grip itself because I don't want that on there. Got that logo perfectly aligned and straight up and down so it matches the other side so that looks good to me. And that's all the way on there. So I'm going to go ahead and let those dry. It says that it takes three minutes and they'll be dry. Um, if you're really concerned you can wrap some wire around the grips and that will um, definitely eliminate any slipping. But that's pretty much it. The new grips are on. We're going to let them dry and then clean up the insides where the glue is. If um, Sometimes my throttle likes to kind of be a little bit more sticky because some of the glue gets in there. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of Triflow or lubricant, spray it inside of the uh, throttle area right here and that'll pretty much eliminate any problems. So that's it. That's pretty much going to wrap up the video. Just a really simple video on how to put new grips on. Uh, I'm just going to let these dry obviously overnight because we're going riding tomorrow so I made sure that I put them on today so they could dry but they're supposed to be ready in three minutes so I'm just going to let them dry and uh, they should hold up just fine. Uh, those definitely look, about, look a lot better than the other ones and uh, I just love how these feel for some reason. I always have so I'm excited about those. That's all good to go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have not checked out my channel before, head over over to my channel. I upload uh, vlogs almost daily. Um, I'm just I'm just starting out the channel uh, as when this video is being made, but uh, I'm definitely just trying to get into YouTube and uploading a lot of videos. So it's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time doing it, and uh, I feel like the channel is going to build up really fast. So uh, looking forward to it. So if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button down below, as that gives me the motivation to continue making videos. Comment down below. Let me know. Um, you're around, let me know your thoughts, um, video suggestions, anything like that. And uh, like the video, of course. Um, I look forward to uh, uploading videos almost daily. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. All right, so I'm going to go inside, rest up for the rest of the day, edit some videos, probably edit the one that you're watching right now. 
and uh, get some things uploaded, clean up the bike a little bit and get ready to go ride tomorrow. So expect some footage from that. And uh, as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.